Leave me. Well. Psych nigga, you thought- Oh nigga, you gay! <laughs> Today, guys, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this room for the entire video. I might have to switch rooms, but I thought I would never make this video again, but I might have to because I'm not trying to, like, cyber bully this person. Like, just, just an FYI, just because I talked about this YouTuber, I'm not trying to, like, send hate or anything. I'm basically just giving my opinion of either what this YouTuber did or what are my thoughts on this YouTuber. But anyways, so this, well, sort of YouTuber that I talked about a couple months ago, and I'm surprised she still has her channel, even though she got taken down once, but people are, are claiming that it was unfair, which is massive bullshit, because her channel basically got taken down for a reason. You know, a lot of people believe that her channel got taken down due to porn vids, or videos, or whatever you call them. And, yeah, people are complaining, bring her back. Me, I was like, nah, 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 don't bring this bitch back. Like, she, I'm surprised she's actually getting away with a lot of things. Like, first, if you look at her n recent video, I don't know when it was posted, I to totally don't really care. Basically, she was showing off her, um... Uh, I don't really know how to, I guess dildo, I'm not sure if YouTube's going to allow that, for me to say that, but, dildo collection, big ones, small ones, freaking long ones, where you can use it as a whip or something like that, but, it's pretty disturbing, now, I'm not sure if the video is age-restricted, hold on, let me check, okay, so it turns out the video is age-restricted, and basically, uh, if you don't know who this Penguin guy is, or his real name Charlie. I ra rather like prefer calling his YouTube channel name. But um, basically, sh a couple months ago, pretty sure I'm pretty sure last year, uh, Bell Delphine and Charlie, I mean, God damn it, penguins. Sorry, but they basically challenged each other of who has like the best dildos and stuff like that. I didn't. I did not even want to try watching. E neither of them. But, for my curiosity, I checked out Penguins, and I checked out Belle Delphine, and, yeah, I didn't like neither of their videos, because their videos are just both disturbing. Now, I like Peng I like Penguins, I think, it's, I think he's a funny guy, probably a nice guy too, but, but whenever he makes videos about dildos, definitely not gonna make, definitely not gonna watch those videos, because... I don't, I really do not want to cringe, but, anyways, so, for basically, if you go to Belle Delphine's videos, and you can check out the recent one that she posted a month ago, I just checked, and it's just gross, really, like, it, it's just really gross, I'm surprised the video's not even taken down, like, at all, like, I'll show you just one thing that I liked about the video. Hold on. I need to not pick up my phone. I'll go straight to airplane mode. Find something to do. I know I can be a little bit cold, but my third eye is going blind. I'm on a line with my body and mind. It's playing tricks. I say I'm fine, but really it's hurting me deep inside. Cause I've been dreaming about you. Ooh. I've been wishing I, I was next to you. Oh. I've been dreaming of us. Oh. I've been thinking that this is not a need or a must, but. So almost at the end of the video, she basically shows off her own personal customized Belle Delphine keyboard and mouse. I'm not gonna lie, that I say the mouse looks good, just the mouse. The the keyboard it's whatever, but I think I, I like the mouse. I think that's the only thing I liked about the video, is just her showing off her own customized keyboard, which is pretty cool. I wish I could create mine. Not sure if it's even possible.
And if it is, it's probably really expensive. So I might do that in the future one day. But, um, I'm still surprised that Belle Delphine channel is not, like, officially terminated. Like, if you go back to February, like, I'm not sure when I posted the video. I posted, like, since February. But I basically explained that February 1st, I got terminated for something I didn't even do. And even though I did tell some of my YouTuber friends, and they were pretty devastated, and whenever I... And when I got my channel back and I told my subscribers that that I got faulty terminated, they were pretty devastated. And yeah. So I now I don't remember most of the Bell Delphine is terminated situation. I remember Keemstar saying that, oh, um, Bell Delphine got terminated and I find it really unfair. Now, he explained of why he thought it was unfair. Pretty understandable. But I still believe that she could be terminated. Like I'm really surprised. That a lot of people. Are spending money on this. Flat chest girl. Now if you guys heard. That bad baby. Or Danielle or whatever her name is. Um, started OnlyFans. And she made like. I don't know 6 million or something. Like in 6 hours or something. 10 million. I, I don't really know. I don't really care. But, yeah, so congrats to her. So, does this mean Belle Delphine's going to fall from the internet and people are just not going to care about her anymore? And she's probably just going to, like, stick with, I don't know, like, like doing videos like she used to do. Now, to be honest, I actually, I think I discovered Belle Delphine, like, since 2017, I think. 2017, 2018, I don't know. I don't remember. I do remember her making, um makeup tutorials and vlogs and then I wasn't really a fan of her I just saw her in my recommendation I was like oh, okay I'll just watch it to see what she does and first of all I totally forgot about her I told totally started remembering her ever since um Keemstar made a video that Belle Delphine is officially back and she made a 6ix9ine parody which I'm not sure if that's still on YouTube I'm pretty sure it is, but, yeah. But anyways, back to that Keemstar si uh, saying that, oh, Belle Delphine, Belle Delphine deserves to be, um, let her channel come back. Now, his reason was understandable, but first of all, Belle Delphine isn't really a, a rapper. Like, I know Cardi B made this one music video called WAP, and it basically showed porn, and it was also on trending. But, she's a rapper. I'm pretty sure rappers who make, like, porn videos could definitely 100% get away with it. But, Belle Delphine, she definitely deserves to be terminated. To be honest, if I was, if I had to, like, watch, like, or, like, I don't know. I guess if I had to, like, watch someone who does, like, porn videos, I guess I'll just... I don't know, go watch freaking Honey Gold or something like that. But, um, anyways, what I'm basically trying to say is, I think just Belle Delphine, like, I mean, if she cares so much about her channel, why can't she just, like, just remove the porn videos and just re-upload, like, makeup tutorials or vlogs? Like, you do know that some porn stars has their own YouTube channel and they don't, I mean, they do talk about how they became famous of doing porn, but they also do, like, vlogs, talk about themselves, what they like to do. I'm okay with that. But for her, she's actually getting away with a lot of stuff. It's just, this is just massive bullshit. YouTubers are complete, YouTubers, or I mean, not freaking YouTubers. God damn it. YouTube is a complete simp. And, not sure Keep Stars a simp, probably is, but... Um, yeah, it's just completely bullshit that Bell Delphine's actually getting away with a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure Bell Delphine's gonna, like, fall off because since Bad Baby's taking over the OnlyFans industry, pretty sure people are gonna, like, I don't know, um, cancel their subscriptions. I don't really know how OnlyFans works. I've never been on it. Probably don't even want to try being in it. But, yeah. 
And besides, really, OnlyFans, I'm pretty sure Belle Delphine has her own personal porn of videos, even though I'm pretty sure they're re-uploaded by her followers, but, um, to be honest, I'd say she's gonna fall off one day because that fat baby is basically taking over, and I'm pretty sure a lot of quirky people are always wanted fat baby to make OnlyFans, and I'm surprised she actually made one, really. And I'm surprised she's 18, because I'm only 16, and she's 18. Yeah, even though my birthday's like in two months, but still. But I really don't like Belle Delphine. I'm surprised that she's getting away with a lot of stuff. And if you check out my last video I made about her, um, at first I was surprised there was no dislike. There was at least 25 likes, but no dislikes. But if you go back to that video, 20 like 25 likes but one dislike we have a simpler simp 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 alert <laughs> and i this one comment like person this one person that like commented um whoever dislikes this video you're a simp we got simp alert so yeah so that's basically all i have to say i just basically i don't think belle delphine is a hot porn star I think she's just ugly. I think her body is extremely flat chested and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure one day that even if she starts to fall off, I'm pretty sure she's gonna have like plastic surgery to make her like balloons and her buns all bigger, stuff like that. No, no. I'm pretty sure Bad Baby's gonna take over her or basically destroy her freaking um, like career pretty much. I say just Belle Delphine should just go back like how she used to do, like make tutorials and vlogs and stuff like that. Then I guess I'll be happy and stuff like that. Now, I'm not trying to like, you know, hurt Belle Delphine's feelings. I'm pretty sure Belle Delphine in real life is a nice person, but definitely horny. Ugh. And Bad Baby, she's obviously a bitch in real life. I do not like... She got on beef with, a lot, like, a lot of celebrities, and, yeah. I remember hanging out with Belle Delphine. Like, I remember, like, like, I don't know, go to the mall with Belle Delphine instead of Bad Baby, because she's a bitch. But, yeah. That's all I have to say. Bye, and stuff like that. Subscribe.